ratios and percentages. A different perspective. As you might already know, there are numerous ratios and percentages used in investment finance on a day-to-day -day basis. Here are some examples of ratios used. Earnings per share, price to earnings, debt to equity, etc. Examples of percentages. Return on investment, annual growth rate, profit margin, etc. Some numbers are kept as decimals whereas some others are converted to percentages for ease of understanding. Ratios are calculated by dividing the numerator by the denominator. Percentages are found out by multiplying the decimal form with 100. Now, let's see how to look at them from a practical point of view. A ratio answers the following question. What is the value of the numerator for unit value of the denominator? Here's how we see it. Increase or decrease the denominator to 1. Correspondingly increase or decrease the numerator to a value x. Then x is the ratio between the two numbers. Let's take a look at the example of price to earnings ratio or PE. By definition, PE ratio equals market price of a share of stock divided by earnings. Assume that the price is $45 and earnings is $3. To find out the P-E ratio, decrease the denominator, that is 3, all the way to 1. For that, we had to make the denominator one-third of the original value. Correspondingly decrease the numerator, which is 45, by one-third as well. And you get 15. This means that for every $1 of earnings, the stock has a market price of $15. Now, coming to percentages. A percentage answers the following question. What is the value of the numerator when the denominator is transformed to 100? Here's how we see it. Write it in the fractional form. That is, numerator divided by denominator. Then, increase or decrease the denominator to 100. Correspondingly increase or decrease the numerator as well. Let's take a look at the example of return on investment, ROI. By definition, ROI equals net income divided by cost of investment multiplied by 100. Assume that net income is $3 and cost of investment is $20. To find out the percentage, increase the denominator, that is 20, all the way to 100. For that, we had to make the denominator five times of the original value. Correspondingly increase the numerator, which is 3, by 5 times as well. And you get 15 percentage. This means that for $100 of cost, you get $15 of income in return. Hope this explanation has provided you with a different perspective for ratios and percentages. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you found this channel useful.